If I were to give potential clients watching this any single one piece of advice, it would be to select an attorney with whom you feel comfortable. The bad thing is if you pick an attorney that all your friends say that you should pick and you pick them and you hate them and you have to change them later on, you've lost money, you've lost time, and eventually if you keep changing attorneys and judges see that, you lose credibility with the court. They think, oh my gosh, this person can't get along with anyone. So pick your attorney carefully and let your gut be your guide also not to the sole exclusion of other referrals, but certainly see what you feel about that person. Because you've got to not only like that person, you've got to trust that person. And once you choose your attorney, do trust them. Don't pick someone you can't trust, trust your attorney. Because an attorney is going to give you advice, you may not want to hear it, you may not want to do it, but you better because it may be painful, but we do know the ropes, we do know what we're doing, and we do know where we're going with your case. If you have any questions at all along the way, don't go changing attorneys. Come in, get a meeting, speak with your attorney and say, why are you telling me to do it this way? Have them actually enunciate the reasons and what the goals are in your case. But by all means, you must pick an attorney that you trust and you like. There are different skill levels in attorneys. Some of us are far better in court than others. Some of us are far better on our feet than others. Some have incredible strengths in research and writing. No one has it all. No one has it all. Any attorney that you pick is going to be a combination of those things. So get a full analysis of your case from your attorney and find out how they're going to use their strengths in all those ways.